Is vaping without nicotine harmful? Hello everyone. Today we're diving deep into a question that's on many minds. Is vaping without nicotine harmful? Even though vaping has often been touted as a safer alternative to traditional smoking, the reality is a bit more complex. So, let's get into it. What is vaping? Vaping is the act of inhaling and exhaling the aerosol, often referred to as vapor, produced by an e-cigarette or similar device. E-cigarettes do not produce tobacco smoke, but rather an aerosol, often mistaken for water vapor, that actually consists of fine particles. Nicotine-free vaping, what's in the vapor? Even if an e-cigarette doesn't contain nicotine, the vapor can still carry other harmful substances. The liquid used in e-cigarettes often contains other chemicals and additives, such as propylene, glycol, vegetable glycerin, and flavorings. While these substances are generally considered safe for ingestion, their effects when inhaled as aerosol can be quite different and are not fully understood. Potential Health Risks Despite the absence of nicotine, vaping can still pose several health risks. 1. Inflammation and Lung Damage E-cigarette vapor can cause inflammation in the lungs, which may lead to lung damage over time. 2. Toxic chemicals. Some studies have found toxic metals and chemicals in e-cigarette vapor, which come from the heating element used in the devices. 3. Flavorings and lung disease. Certain flavorings used in e-cigarettes have been linked to a serious lung disease called bronchiolitis obliterans, also known as popcorn lung. The bottom line. While vaping without nicotine eliminates the risks associated with nicotine dependence and addiction, it is not completely harmless. The long-term health effects of vaping, even without nicotine, are not fully understood and research is ongoing. Therefore, it's important to make informed decisions and consider potential risks when choosing to vape. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of vaping and its potential harms, even without nicotine. Remember. Just because something is marketed as a safer alternative doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. Always stay informed and make choices that support your health. Until next time, take care.